What's good, what's good, yo, you already know it's that That Adam God Talk <laughs> podcast, man J.U. King Michi, hold up Who, who? One more time, one more time Yes sir, we in here, we in here Definitely, you boy? Definitely, I'm feeling great, man Gr- Wonderful Monday, right? Wonderful, wonderful Monday, Monday man. Second right. week of the new year? Uh, yes the- sir, yes sir First, uh, what? Second Monday of the year. You know hey, how, how was your first week so far? How was your first week? How was your first, first week? week? You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to kick it to you. Your boy had the flu. Your boy won't feel like too good. <laughs> but we back up in this bitch. Hey, Healthy, hey. strong. Just glad to be alive, man. Grateful, man. That's, that's what it is. Definitely. Even feeling like that, the show still went on. Yeah, yeah. The show um, still went on. Show hey, still won't be here. No matter what. Definitely, hey, definitely. As long as we conscious, we in this bitch. You definitely, definitely. I always say, like, consistent DT, man. Hella consistent. We we going to be here. We going to be here. Definitely. But dive right into it because this been weighing on me this is i know a lot of stuff be weighing on me but this has really <laughs> been weighing on me, That's what we're here for. You know me. all right so in today's society how do you feel about men's preferences and how do they differ and how do they look at differently than women's well i feel like men we when we have preferences we're shamed they're looked at as as self-hate or if it's something that's Dealing with like, if it's something that dealing with like like weight or skin yeah. tone or anything, it's kind of just shamed for men. Like if it's a, yeah. actually all of our preferences are really shamed because they think when we like something that we're putting something else down. That's what it kind of is. Versus with women, I don't really see that shame for their preferences. Right. If they like a tall guy, if they if they. Like and a lot of times, women they'll put down short men when they're talking about that is tall guys true. and and things like that. And what what else? Um, color colors are because I'm about to say I've been called a colorist before, and I felt like that was crazy. Like just because saying like you like lighter women yeah. over darker skin, like you can't automatically be considered a colorist. Yeah, like they'll say like yeah, it's true. that's a big one that they say because it usually comes from. Um, like usually don't really hear it from like brown skin or lighter skin guys, but even though some of us do also have that same preference, and you have dudes that like that like dark skin women over light skin women, exactly. but when it's a dark skin dude that's saying oh he likes light skin women, they usually say oh he self hate oh he hates his mother he hates his grandma and all that Th- shit. Like, that'd be the first thing they say like what color is your mother? Yeah, like yeah. I'm not that attracted nothing, to my mom. Yeah, <laughs> like what the fuck? Like, that has literally nothing to do with it. Now I do know. think like some of those things. Like now Kodak, he said I'm already black. I don't need no black man. That can be can be seen like it's rooted in self hate. But a dude just saying like, oh, I prefer to have a, a lighter skinned woman for whatever reason. I don't think he should be attacked and shamed for having that preference. If it's something that that's like rooted in something deeper over his growth in in time, he's gonna figure that out. But if it's just like, oh, he just prefers that over this, then I don't really see a problem with it. Definitely. To be honest, I don't see a problem with any. I, me personally, I don't even care. Like you like whoever you want to like. If you want to go out here, date somebody light skin, dark skin, that's on you. I feel like that's literally your personal preference. We are given. The ability of choice in this literally world. and i think women kind of hold men like to the fire for that that men we kind of just let it go if like you know because a lot of women preference be like dumb and it, it be shit that they probably won't even get it's like a very small percentage of men especially like black men are even over like six one it's a small percentage of men over six one so it's like a lot of women going after a tall guy, they're just going to be fucking lonely anyway if they are skipping out over, like, shorter dudes. Definitely. And it's not even just that. It'd be the combinations of stuff. Like, girls be like, I want this 6'2 tall, dark skin dude with dress with a 12-inch dick. I mean, you might can find that shit out there, but so is, like, a lot of other girls. Like, yeah. not saying that's the best kind of guy because I feel like I'm way better. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, I feel like a lot of this stuff is, and it's kind of stereotypical. Yeah, if you yeah. get what I mean. Yeah, it is definitely, and I think, um, 
And as far as like, like men, when we have weight preferences, like if we don't want like a, a bigger woman, like oh my god, your body oh, shaming, fat shaming, like your mom's overweight, and and like they go in deep over that. But it's like none of what they're saying has anything to do with like me personally. I like I think a flat stomach is a, a in a nice tone stomach is a underrated feature like that's like one of my f- most favorite features on a woman like, mm-hmm. like so i and i like women that are athletic i like women that can keep up i don't want a woman that has trouble getting up the stairs and stuff like that like that's yeah. just my preference i don't like unhealthiness is unattractive to me and i i can't help that like yeah that's probably something i developed in my mind over time but i feel like that's a good thing i don't feel like i need to take chances on women that are out of shape like this don't make sense it, it definitely doesn't and that's okay because that's your preference like i feel like everybody should be okay with having their personal preference and not be judged for it either because me personally like i'm mm, no, 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 no. Hold on. Before we even get into that, what's your type? What's like, my... type of woman. Like, you gave your... But what's your type? Like, if you could put it in, like, a little box. To be honest, I don't have a specific type. If it was me, it's more about, like I say, like, healthy, in shape after that. And I like I like natural. So, if, that's a, if that could be considered a type. Like, that is a type. Like, like I don't... Like like minimal makeup, or if she puts on a lot, it's like on occasion. It's not like a fucking everyday thing. Like we're going into to sleep with it. It's just more so a natural, more so feminine looking woman. I I don't like loud or extra. That's just not for me. So I guess I kind of do have a type. Definitely. <laughs> Once I start to think about it. Because I feel like we all do have, like, a type of type of women we attract, the type of women we go for. I feel like it's only natural. Me, personal. Wait, what are you going to say? I just was going to say, like, in different phases in your life, that can also change. Like, when I was younger, it was more superficial. Like, I liked the whole, like, foreign, quote-unquote, look in, in woman just because it was something that wasn't readily available in my immediate vicinity. I like that. I like that too. I feel like we all go through those phases too. Like we like. I feel like your type change. Your type does change. Cause when I was a kid, I didn't. I didn't. Don't don't hate me for this. I didn't really like black girls. Like it's not that I didn't like them. I didn't attract them. So since I didn't attract them, like in my mind, like it was kind of like. Yeah. That, don't that like. That builds a lot of dudes' preferences though. Is just like, all right, uh, this type of woman isn't fucking with me. Like I'm gonna go. You're gonna go where you're accepted, literally like, where just, you're appreciated. Mm-hmm. You should, you should, you should. Because a lot of times, I mean, I don't know like why they weren't attracted no. to you, but like, I don't, lot, know. <laughs> I don't know if you want to even get into that. But it's like I know, growing up, depending on where you live at, a lot of of the black women they're going for mostly a certain type of guy. They're if you're into other other things that they consider alternative, then that it becomes like, oh, you're weird, you're, yeah. you're different, you're too different, you're not what they friends are into, so they're not into you type. I, I believe that's definitely what it does. I, that, you just cracked the code on that one. Because that's literally what it is. Like, even to this day, I still, like, a lot, even to this, like, a lot of black girls will not fuck with me. They just don't. They just don't. They, but I don't fuck with them yet. But don't get me wrong. I do like a couple. I do like a couple. But, like, they're, like, not weird, but, like, not typical. They're alternative. Yeah, yeah. they're alternative, yeah. too. So it's different. So it's different. Not saying I like white women either, though. Let's, <laughs> I don't like white women either. <laughs> me, personally, I shoot for the Hispanics. That's, that's my line. That's my line. <laughs> but that's literally how it is. And that's more so would be attracted to me. Yeah, so. and I think, because you, like, as far as, like, as long as I know you, you been unapologetically yourself and which is good like I was about to say damn I think that's the nicest thing you ever said to me (laughs) that's like exactly that's there's nothing wrong with that at all but it's um there's like 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 women especially like the black ones that are into like the shade room culture and like that black Twitter culture like they don't like me they yeah they (laughs) want a certain type of dude that's gonna end up probably being their baby daddy and then leaving them type you know what I'm saying like 
that's just kind of how they are. But at the end of the day, hey, you don't build like hatred up. You're like you're not an incel. You you don't. Exactly. You know what I'm saying you're not gonna <laughs> just build hatred up and get mad about this shit. Like nah, you're gonna go where you appreciate it, like you said. Exactly. Exactly. 